say that money can't buy taste, and when you see some of the items that people paid huge amounts of money for, you might just agree with that. While you may fantasize about winning the lottery and paying off your debts and just maybe splurging on a mansion, rich people are spending big bucks on everyday items. We'll show you some times where the wealthy just went too far. If you're worried about affording the entrance fee to our channel, don't worry, it's the one thing on this list you can have for free. Just click on that subscribe button. Pink Lotus Lamp Tiffany has been producing incredible glass decorations and jewelry since its founding in 1875. Once you see the iconic blue of a Tiffany's bag or box, you just know that whatever is inside is going to be insanely expensive. Tiffany glass products are known to be absolutely stunning and come with a hefty price tag, but one simple lamp fetched the highest price for a lamp when it went to auction. This pink lotus lamp is thought to be the only one of its kind and is made of bronze. It features a most mosaic pattern of lead-stained glass forming eight individual overlapping lotus flowers. It is believed that this lamp can trace its lineage back to 1905. Its 2,000 separate glass pieces were each hand-cut and wrapped using copper foil techniques. When this piece went up for auction back in 1997, it sold for an astonishing $2.8 million. If you are looking for some larger and more impressive lighting, try a 7-foot-tall, 5-feet-wide Solstice Comet chandelier for only $170,000. These feature over 1,800 pieces of handcrafted crystal, and you can purchase 16 of them for the price of one pink lotus. Bookshelf for those of us who haven't yet embraced e-readers, it seems like places to put our books are always in high demand. But for some of us, it's worth paying quite the premium so we can plop down our book collection on a truly incredible bookshelf. This limited edition shelf was created by Chilean-born artist Sebastian Erazuriz. He was inspired by the ivy growing all over his grandmother's garden and decided to make a piece of furniture that would have the same effect indoors. This bookshelf is created from Baltic birch plywood and is called Metamorphosis. Erasuris believes that the majesty of this bookshelf comes from its dual purpose, part decorative sculpture and part functional bookshelf. But of course, such an incredible combination of form and function comes at a steep price. If you want to bring this piece of art into your home, it'll cost you $75,000. Or if that's a little bit outside of your price range, you can always purchase a decent bookcase for about $170 at furniture giant IKEA. Actually, to get more specific, you could buy 441 IKEA bookshelves for the price of one metamorphosis. Pool Cue since you can play it in just about every bar or recreation center around, we don't think of pool as a very illustrious sport. However, there's always a market for people interested in any hobby to upgrade their equipment for a significant cost. If you're the type of person who prefers to bring their own pool cue to the table, you'll definitely want to check out The Intimidator. The website describes it as the ultimate fantasy cue, and we assume they also mean the only fantasy pool cue. It looks more like a medieval weapon than the wooden cues we're used to seeing and features features a genuine Italian obsidian gemstone sphere at the base. It was forged from stainless steel and took over 1,862 hours of hand engraving, hand etching, and hand machining to complete. It's inlaid with 24 karat gold and contains 210 separate inlays, including 112 hand-polished precious metal inlays. The price for this impressive and artistic pool cue is sure to intimidate any opponent, $150,000. You can buy a decent standard pool cue for about $70, and you can buy 2,142 of them for the price of one magical, mystical fantasy cue. Swimming Pool now for a look at a very different sort of pool. We've come up with other videos about expensive swimming pools, but these are generally featured at pricey resorts or exclusive country clubs. But this lavish pool is actually installed in someone's backyard. The Kitchikoff family's outrageous backyard pool has even been featured on the Travel Channel. This place is truly an oasis in the harsh desert of Gilbert, Arizona, and took Red Rock contractors five months to complete. It's roughly ten times as large as the average swimming pool and features features fountains, a waterfall grotto, and of course, a 15-foot tall water slide. This pool also has a state-of-the-art control system which uses a screen logic interface. The family can control the pool's temperature, the color of the lighting, or turn on the jacuzzi from anywhere they have a Wi-Fi signal or their smartphones.
And all it cost to install this backyard paradise was a cool $1 million. The average cost of an above-ground pool is approximately $1,600, meaning that you could purchase 625 above-ground pools for the price of this one. Or if you have your heart set on spending $20,000 for an in-ground pool, you could have 50 installed for the price of this one spectacular pool. Beetles it may be hard for some of us to wrap our heads around the fact that people would pay anything for a bug, especially since we spend a lot of time trying to get rid of them. However, there are some people out there who enjoy keeping them as pets or use bugs such as ladybugs in their gardens. But one Japanese businessman paid an insane amount of money for one single stag beetle. In Japan, giant stag beetles are rather popular and are known as black diamonds because of the color of their shiny exoskeletons. However, they usually only retail for about $4.50 per beetle. There are even some vending machines in Tokyo that sell stag beetles. Um, we'd hate to mix that up with another vending machine when we're hoping for a snack. But every once in a while, some truly unique bug makes its way onto the market and people are willing to pay huge amounts of money to add it to their collection. The stag beetle that commanded such a hefty price was sold by Waku Waku Land, a Tokyo-based store specializing in insects. It was 3 inches long and sold for $90,000 to a man who did not wish to be identified. That's $30,000 per inch of bug, or 20,000 regular sized stag beetles. It's trivia time! Auctions are a popular way to buy and sell items, and sometimes things can fetch quite the price. One of the most recognizable paintings around, The Scream by Edvard Munch, was actually sold at auction in 2012. How much did it sell for? Keep watching for the answer. Cockatoo some of us love listening to their songs and enjoying them in the wild, while other people view birds as ideal indoor pets. Domestic birds are sold for a wide range of prices, from sweet little parakeets to large, intelligent parrots. But one bird is heads, tails, and feathers more expensive than others. Palm cockatoos are huge gray or black parrots native to New Guinea, Aru Islands, and Cape York Peninsula. It's easy to spot by its large red cheeks. These stubborn birds are hard to breed and are rarely found in the wild. This helps drive up the price, and any avian lover hoping to get their hands on one had better be prepared to spend some cash. This bird is known to be the most expensive in the world, and the price for one is about $16,000. You can buy a parakeet at your local pet store for about $20. So for the price of one palm cockatoo, you could own 800 parakeets. That's a lot of bird cages to clean. And because the palm cockatoo is known for being incredibly loud, we wonder how the noise of hundreds of parakeets would compare to one palm cockatoo. Wig Hair care can be expensive, and wigs can be downright exorbitant, so when you have a well-made wig that once belonged to a huge celebrity, that's a recipe for one huge price tag. Andy Warhol is best known for his pivotal role in the visual art movement known as pop art. While his paintings and prints are highly prized, some people would do just about anything to get an even more personal piece of the celebrity. Did you know that Warhol's iconic hairstyle was actually a wig intended to disguise his receding hairline? If you already knew, you're not the the only fan who was aware of the fact. In 1985, a girl snatched the wig right off of his head at a book signing. Warhol wrote in his diary that he was so angry he contemplated pushing the girl right over the balcony. But one Warhol fan took a safer route and purchased an actual Warhol wig at auction instead. Twenty years after Warhol passed away, the wig sold for $10,800 at auction, making it one of the most expensive wigs in the world. High-quality wigs made of real human hair can cost around $1,000 meaning that you could buy 10 quality and much more fashionable wigs for the price of one Warhol wig. Socks on a cold winter's day, a good pair of socks can seem priceless, but how much would you really pay to slip your feet into a soft pair of socks? These limited edition socks, created by premium knitwear brand Falca, are made of Vicuña wool. Vicuñas live in the Alpine region of the Andes and are related to llamas. Their wool is alleged to be so soft that it is known as the fiber of the gods. That's quite the bold claim. It's said to be the most luxurious and warm fiber in the world. These creatures can only be shorn once every two years, 
colors and are protected by local laws. Each of the 10 pair of socks created is sold in a decorative display box, just in case you decide that they're too pretty to wear, or more likely if you want to protect your $1,188 investment since that's what they cost. You can get a whole pack containing six pairs of regular socks for about $16. For the price of one pair of Falca socks, you could buy 74 packs of normal socks, totaling 445 pairs. Slide Even those of us without massive incomes enjoy spoiling our children now and again. When you think of expensive items to buy for children, you might be picturing the latest video game system or even splurging and finally buying them that pony they've always wanted. But why do that when you could buy your small child a gold-plated slide? That's right, German-based company Jupidu has created a slide that's covered in 24 karat gold. It's known as the Golden Unicorn, and perhaps the most remarkable thing about it is that besides the gold, there really isn't anything remarkable about it. The slide is small and simple and doesn't come with any bells and whistles, so it's kind of crazy to think that people are willing to shell out the $12,600 necessary to bring one home. Not to mention the fact that it's for children, who will undoubtedly get it immediately sticky and dirty, as children tend to do. You can purchase a classic Little Tykes plastic slide for about $30 in comparison. That means you could have 420 slides for the price of one single slide wrapped in gold leaf. Urinal Toilets are something that we all use but rarely think about unless we really need one. The image of a golden toilet is synonymous with opulence and of course there are actually golden toilets out there. And the San Francisco Giants even presents the player with the best hydration, a golden urinal award talk about an MVP. But how about paying big bucks for a decorative urinal that doesn't actually work, huh? American sculptor Robert Gober enjoys creating familiar objects such as sinks, doors, and apparently even urinals. In 1988, he created an artistic installment known as Three Urinals. This mixed-media sculpture is obviously not functional, so make sure you remember that when you have to go in the middle of the night. But someone apparently thought it was worth a pretty penny because it sold at auction for about $3,520,000. $25,000. For reference, three functional urinals would set you back about $600. You could add 16,260 urinals to your house for the price of this artistic creation. Well, you might want to scream yourself when you learn how much the famous painting The Scream sold for at auction. It was purchased for $119.9 million. So, would you trade in your childhood plastic or metal slide for one covered in gold leaf? Or your favorite pair of fuzzy socks for a pair costing over $1,000? Sometimes it seems like the rich just take their expensive tastes a tad bit too far. At The Richest, we'll always be here to give you a look at some of the finer things in life, so don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Bye for now!